It may be the most iconic moment in Bruce Jenner's public life. Clinching the gold medal in the decathlon at the 1976 Olympics in Montreal, it was a long road to become one of the world's greatest athletes, a journey that began when Bruce Jenner left Sandy Hook, Connecticut, for then Graceland College in Lamoni, Iowa, on a football scholarship. One day he threw three interceptions, and on these interceptions, he would tackle the guy that, that intercepted the ball, and he'd put him in the nickel seats. And I told the head coach, I says, this guy's a strong safety, and he's above our level. He's, he's a Hawkeye, he's a, he's a cyclone. This guy can play D1 football. A leg injury would end that football career, which ended up being a stroke of good luck because at that time, track and field legend L.D. Weldon was coaching at Graceland. And Duke, then an assistant basketball coach, knew he was witnessing history. And L.D. got a hold of him, and once Coach Weldon gets a hold of you, that's it. It said L.D. recognized Bruce had the strength and speed for the decathlon, but there was something more Mr. Weldon saw in his star pupil, which he described in this 1976 documentary, Ten for Gold. Well, I was really impressed uh, with Bruce because uh, he'd listen to you. He was faithful in what, he was, what you were trying to uh, discipline him to do, and, and he had a desire to do the just do the very best he could possibly do. That discipline led to a stellar career and made Jenner America's golden boy. But there was something more. Duke says beyond that laser focus was a person with magnetic appeal, charm, and humility. As I knew Bruce, he's like a, uh, just a kid. You know, he, his toys became big toys, but uh, he, always, he always had that sense of humor and that smile and that, that friendliness about him. Over the years, Duke followed Jenner's career, and the two kept in touch. They haven't spoken recently, so he can't comment on where his old friend's personal life sits right now. But he does say, whatever Bruce Jenner is going through, it has not come lightly. The thing that, that I always respected about Bruce was Bruce knew where he was going, and when Bruce made up his mind and was determined, after he thought it through, it would get done. And I, I think this is where Bruce is at now. He's thought, he knows where he's going, and uh, one thing you don't do or never did is you don't tell Bruce Jenner he can't do anything or what he sets his mind to do. Uh -huh.